inspired to do this beauty guru pet peeves kind of video, but it's more not really all beauty gurus, it's mostly like girl things in general, and then some specifically geared towards beauty gurus, but I was inspired by a Glamorissa X, I think that's her username, I will link her channel below, but she's done two of these videos before and they're both hilarious and totally on point, like legit, like I'm like right there with you, sister. <laughs> there are so many things that I love about being in the beauty community, but there are so many things that I do not. If they annoy you too, I would love to know because otherwise if I'm all alone in this, things could get really awkward really quickly. All right, so first of all, the first thing that really just annoys me is when people call themselves beauty gurus not knowing what the term beauty guru even entitles. Uh, I, I looked up the legitimate definition of guru for you, okay, because I think it is used just way too casually here. Um, guru is a teacher or a guide in spiritual and philosophical matters, a trusted counselor and advisor, a mentor, a recognized leader in a field, maybe, an acknowledged and influential advocate as of a, mo of a movement, <laughs> that's not a word, as of a movement or idea. I don't call myself a beauty guru because I do not, I don't, consider myself to be an expert or a leader or an advocate for anything. Um, I just kind of share my interests and stuff like that. So uh, when people call themselves beauty gurus and they've only been doing makeup for like a week and they've only put up one video and it's like a haul, I just, I don't, just know, know the words that you are using because that is just, just, just dictionary.com guys, it's a really good tool. When you post pictures on your Facebook, even if it's like a full album, if I'm your friend, I'm pretty sure I already know that you, the, the picture of you, is you. So you need to tag yourself in every picture of yourself that you post yourself. I, 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 get, I get it, that's you. I mean, I don't think you've changed all that much since I last saw you, so I, I'm gonna assume that that's you in your picture. So you really, you don't need to tag yourself in your own pictures that you post of yourself. Just saying. Um, when girls in their videos say, like, I'm so weird, I'm so dorky, like, I'm so awkward, like, you can't, you can't say those things when it, whatever you're doing is not dorky or awkward or weird. Like on Twitter, for example. Ate a bowl of cereal, I'm so weird. I don't know when eating bowls of cereal got weird, but no one no one told me about this. You're freaking weird for tweeting that. Who cares if you ate a bowl of cereal? All right, another one. I think uh, Marissa talks about this one in her video, but when people like start the video and automatically they're like, I'm so sorry guys, I look so bad today. Like I can't even, like I did not try today at all. It's kind of like, so if you didn't try and you think you look like crap, what, why, why are you filming a video on your beauty channel? Yeah, I don't get that one. But the worst thing is in real life, when you like run into a friend and they like just got out of the gym and you're like all decked out like in, you know, like, like, I don't know, you're all done up already and they're like in gym clothes and they're like, oh my God, I look so bad, you look so good. And then you're kind of like, mom, you, you are, you just got out of the gym and, uh, awkward. Alright, so this is something that happened to me last year when I was living in the apartment with three other girls and uh, God, in general, when people hate on something that you like or that you're doing or that, that you enjoy um, and then they do the freaking exact same thing or they, they end up liking the same thing that they straight up insulted you about, like that happened to me so many times last year. Like I lived with three girls from NorCal and I'm a SoCal girl, so there's a lot of things that are different about us. Um, and I think our personalities are very different as well. So I, I, here's an example. Last year I was watching Criminal Minds or NCIS, one of those. They're like my two favorite shows and they're always on TV. And I was watching them one day and then one of my roommates came in and was like, what is this? Criminal Minds? This show is so gory. How, how do you watch this? Oh my, you are so weird. Okay. That, sorry. She straight up told me I was weird because I was watching my favorite show and she was just straight up like insulting it. Okay, next day. Very next day. The following day. I come home from class or wherever I was. Perhaps I was out with friends. As I was saying. Uh, I got back from class or wherever 
and she was watching the same show. The same show. My show, my favorite show. I just, I, you kill me. These people kill me, I swear. I can't, I can't even, I can't, just, you, I can't. When you add the, the suffix, I guess you could say, ease to the end of everything. Besties, frenzies, twinsies, loveies, uh, bloopies, yes, you know who I'm talking about. Ease does not need to go at the end of every word, my friends, because that is just unnecessary. I, I, it, you don't need to do it, just, just, just read the words how they are. It's, all good. Another Twitter thing. Live tweeting about every show in the world. Pretty Little Liars. Bachelor. I used to watch those shows. Then I got over them. Like half the nation. I really don't care what's going on in those shows. And quite frankly, when you're live tweeting, you're spoiling it for people who actually want to watch the show. I don't watch them. But I feel bad for the people who do because then it's like, cool, thanks for telling me exactly what to expect in the episode. Awesome! So I just, just stop! Stop! Huh. Another thing that happens a lot is when people like something or claim to like something just because everybody else does. For instance, One Direction. I like One Direction. I think their music is awesome, but I'm not a directioner because everybody else is a directioner. I would never call myself a directioner just to get subscribers or just to get people to think that we have a profound bond over One Direction. No, I am a genuine person. Okay, I like I said, I like One Direction, but do I need to confess my love for them so that you will think I'm awesome? No. Because I'm awesome already. Right? Alright, so this is something that happens in college a lot. So I take a lot of large classes. I don't like taking like small 35 student classes. They make me feel very uncomfortable. I like the anonymous. <laughs> I almost said, I don't know what I almost said. The anonymous nature of a big class is what I'm trying to say. Uh, I like my space, and when I go to class, I actually have to interact with the human world. Uh, I like I like people to not sit right next to me, especially in a 400 plus seated auditorium. I've had multiple classes in our gigantic auditorium, and I like to sit either on the edge of the aisle or against the wall. There's like. I want to say like 10 seats in one row, right? And then there's like three sections. So there's plenty of options for you. But uh, lo and behold, every time I go to that class or those classes, people have to sit right next to me. I mean, there's like 350 other seats open at that point in time. They're not, they don't talk to me. They don't even smile at me like, hi, I'm gonna sit next to you, is that okay? No, they just sit next to me. Why? Why? Do you need to be close to strangers? The stranger danger, guys. No. Just stop. Stop. Alright, back to another Twitter thing. When people retweet everything that has anything to do with them, whether this, someone tweets them, just retweet. Retweet. Oh my god, I love you. Retweet. Oh my god, I liked your video. Retweet. I don't, I don't. People tweet you and you should feel great about it. That is awesome. High five to you, but I do not need to know every time someone tweets you. It's really, my Twitter feed does not need that. I don't follow that many people. So when it's all you, I don't need that. I mean, you're right, I could unfollow you, but sometimes you tweet kind of cool things. So I want to keep following you, but you do these things that piss me off. So I, I'm such a conflicted person. <laughs> Oh, this video is crazy. Okay, so this is something that happens when I watch like vlog videos. I can tell right away when there's a group of girls together, especially beauty gurus, beauty gurus. Um, it gets very valley girl very quickly. There's lots of oh my gosh and gigglies and and <laughs> ah, like screaming at them. I'm a girl, obviously, but why why is it that when a group of girls gets together? No matter what, there's there's screaming and hugging and jumping and 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 like is every other word and OMG, not even oh my god or oh my gosh, it's OMG and uh, uh, this video is stressing me out. Okay, so this is another YouTube thing when 
beauty gurus, gurus, um, are overly defensive to the point where it's rude. Okay, when your subscribers or your viewers are leaving you a comment, asking you a question that may or may not be a little bit harsh or offensive, you don't need to overreact and go on like a five page rant about how they're so rude and haters and, you know, like just, just, just take a breath, step back, you know, just, just assess the situation and then, and then progress forward as need be. I don't, I don't think people, especially the major YouTubers, need to, to react that way because it, it doesn't reflect well on them at all. Also, kind of on the other side of that, people who don't react or people who don't uh, uh, comment back or respond to anybody's comments on their videos or tweets or whatever, I think that kind of sucks too because uh, your subscribers are how you're at the place that you are. I mean, without your subscribers, you wouldn't have the success that you have, so it's, it's pretty important to give, not give back, but you know, interact with them because it's, it's just, it's like common sense and common courtesy to do that. So that's another thing that bothers me as well. A lot of you love to call me cute. You, like, you're so cute. Like, ah, oh, I love your personality. It's so cute. I hate being called cute. There was this girl who she skipped two or three grades. I can't even remember, but she was supposed to be a year. She, she skipped two grades. She was supposed to be a year younger than me, but she was actually a year or a grade over me. And so, um, she was younger than me, and I, 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 it was like in middle school, and she was like, oh my god, you're so cute, and I'm like, oh my god, I'm taller than you and older than you, don't call me cute or pet my head, I'm gonna kick you. And then last year, one of my lovely roommates kept telling me I was cute. I'm not cute. Stop it. No. Alright, so I have one more, and this is a YouTube thing. This is by far my most hated you beauty guru pet peeves when you fake bloopers. Now, I understand that there are a lot of slip ups in videos. If you guys watch my videos, I jumble my words every five seconds. So, uh, I usually leave those in there because I think it adds some character to my videos. But, man, okay, when you. Nobody has that many bloopers in every video. There's not like 20 bloopers. Singing a song, not a blooper. Making a funny face, not a blooper. Dropping something, that could be a blooper, but who drops something three times in every video? Nobody. Just bloopies. No, you're, you're faking. Everyone can tell you're faking it. You're not that funny, so just, I'm done. <laughs> that, that's, that's all I have to say. I just, I can't, I can't even. Just, bye.